Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you caught my short from the other week, then you're aware that I've finally gone forward with placing the order for all the components that are going to make up the version two of my 3D printed prosthetic hand. It's been a lot of work and it's, it's a huge thing for me. Once again, JLC PCB will be doing the printing for me. They did a wonderful job on the parts last time and I'm sure I can expect the same great service this time. And when I let my representative know that I was ready to prototype the second version of my hand, she was excited and immediately on board. And once my hand is refined to its final form, my plan is to have them be the supplier for all the 3D printed components. If you have a project that you've been working on and you need parts to be printed in engineering grade material, not available on your consumer grade printer, maybe give them a shot. First time customers can get a coupon good for $54 off their first order. Over the last couple of years, they've been expanding their services beyond solely manufacturing custom multi-layer printed circuit board. They now offer additive manufacturing. In the near future, they also plan to start offering select machining operations. Currently, their printing capabilities include SLA, MultiJet Fusion, SLM, FDM, and SLS, all in a variety of materials. For my project, I'll be having my parts printed with MultiJet Fusion for the PA-12 and SLM for all the stainless parts. All but the parts under the greatest load are going to be printed in PA-12 nylon, with the others that require greater strength be printed in stainless steel. With this order, I'm also taking the opportunity to print selected parts in both materials to test the durability of nylon in some of the more load-bearing applications. This will allow me to confirm which parts truly need to be printed in stainless and which I can opt to have made out of a lighter material. It'll be interesting to see just how strong the PA-12 is compared to the stainless in the assemblies that are subject to higher loads. If you decide to check out their website, you'll notice that it's super straightforward. From the loading page, select the type of service that you're looking for, from multi-layer PCB fabrication and electronic assembly to 3D printing, and soon light manufacturing. As of yet, I've only had experience with their 3D printing service, but I'm sure the other offerings are up to par just the same. For me, I click on the 3D printing. Here's where you get the prompt to upload your files. You can upload up to five files at a time. Once they're uploaded and shown in the preview, you select the process, material, and quantity. After that, you give your parts a name and add them to your cart. Something to keep in mind if you have a pile of parts in your build. The maximum number of components you can have in a single order is 30. For my collection of parts, I had to break it up into two orders because the build is almost a complete kit for this hand. It includes everything from the wrist gimbal, gaff knee, winder, and fingers. So once you have your order together, your files are verified for suitability in process and material. If there are any issues, they'll send you an email noting where you might have possible issues. At that time, you can either risk the print or upload a modified STL. This is where I most often get tripped up. A lot of my parts are designed to be machined. And you can do a lot of things with machining that just don't work out well with printing. I usually wind up needing to modify the clearances to the recommended one and a half millimeter minimums, as well as change some of the hole diameters. It's usually kind of a back and forth thing, but in my experience, they're super patient and always willing to work with you through this process. Once all of your parts are approved, you'll receive an email confirmation and invoice. Once you submit your payment, your parts are assigned a place in the queue and they begin the manufacturing process. Once your order is complete, you'll receive a tracking number and before you know it, your parts will arrive at your doorstep. As soon as my orders arrive, I'll be sure to do an unboxing to show you how everything goes together. That's about all I have for this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share my videos. I know you get tired of hearing it, but it really does help a small channel like mine with the algorithm. I'd also like to take a moment and thank everybody that's supporting me on Patreon. Your support really does help me to continue the accelerated pace that I've been able to develop this device. If you have a chance, please take a moment and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the project. Thanks for watching.
Okay, guys, that's enough.